Have you ever listened to a song that was just so beautiful? That you literally get goosebumps while listening to it? Th this is one of those songs. For me, this is one of those songs. And a story to tell by what was me. Anyway, guys, this is Metalcore Michael with some Ocarina of Time. This is. Er. Let's play of Ocarina of Time. This is, uh, my. Literally my favorite game in the whole world. Oh, that's not right. So. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing a Let's Play of this game. I'm gonna be, uh. Uploading ev at least uh, every Saturday and record at least um, every other day of the week. So now let's get started. In the vast deep forest of Hyrule. Long as I served as the guardian spirit, I am known as the Dig Tree. Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Gokir has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Oh, that's really sad. Oh dear. Look at his face. What? I freaking love that face. Navi. Where are there, Navi? Come hither. Oh, Navi the fairy. Listen to my words. The words of the Davy tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil is descending upon this realm. Malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our, our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kukiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, then my power is as NOTHING! It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. Is you whose destiny is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth? Now, if you go now, find her a young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly! The fate of the forest, nay, the world, depends on thee. I will do just that. This is one of my favorite moments. It's just. It's just so cute and adorable. Ron brings it on, is able to get right in. Oh, he's got, he's got Hello. Hello. Yep, here's my favorite part. And. Pop <laughs> God, this is so adorable. And here we have. Our hero being your avish teenager. Hello. Hello, Link. Wake up. The great dig tree wants to talk to you. Link, get up. No. Hey. hey, come on! Did I have destiny to really depend on such a lazy boy? Hello there. You finally woke up. I'm Navi the Fairy. The Great Dictator Tree asked me to be your partner from now on, so nice to meet you. The Great, the great Dictator Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. All right, so here we are. Um, like before we. <laughs> that was totally. That was totally unintentional. So I just want to tell you a little bit about my uh, my experiences with this game. Um, this is the game that really, really got me into the Zelda. The Zelda.
through my through my playthrough, I just absolutely fell in love with this game. This game is a masterpiece. It was actually pronounced uh, one of the best games in the world for for good reason too. So we are Gokiri Forest. Yahoo! Hi, Link! So, let's go say hi to our little friend over there. See what she has to say. Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, Link! Wow, that's great news! I'm so happy for you! Now you're a true Kokira, Link! Is that right? The Great Daken Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to Great Daken Tree! I'll wait for you here. Get going, go see the Great Daken Tree! Now she is obviously excited for us to see the Great Daken Tree. So we're gonna do just that. So we just head over here. And see this guy's blocking our way. Let's see, let's see what he has to say. Hey you, Mr. No Fairy! What's your business with a great ticket? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't I can't resist laughing when I do that voice. Um And another thing, I would like I attempted to record this game a lot. But my computer had a lot of problems and like, you know, stuff like school and like all that was getting in the way. I just couldn't keep a consistent playthrough. But um, what I used to do, I would give these guys like really dumb voices. I'm gonna refrain from now. I'm gonna refrain from doing that from now on because that they're just really, really dumb and really, really stupid. But th this is one of my favorite. Hey you, Mr. No Fairy, what's your business with the Great Dink Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. What? You got a fairy? Say what? The game? The Dink Tree has actually summoned you? What? <laughs> Why would he summon you and not the Great Mido? This isn't funny. It's actually pretty hilarious. This, this isn't funny. I don't believe it. You're not even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Dinka Tree without a sword and a shield? What? You're right. I don't have my equipment ready, but if you want to pass through here, you should at least go up with a sword and a shield. Sheesh. All right. So as you can see, he obviously does not want to pass through. Well, he does not want us to pass through without a sword and a shield. And another thing about um, like him calling us like. Shut up, Abby. Another thing, I, I just want to add, like, he's dissing us because he thinks he's, like, you know, he's all cool, he's all tough and strong, but just look at his arms compared to Link's. As you see, he's got a little bit more, uh, he's got a little, a little bit more beef. So I just want to see, like, or if there's, like, maybe, like, a, like, a fan animation, like, around, like, Mida always picking on Link and Link just, like, Linking him square up. <laughs> that would be the funniest thing in the world. I, I would actually pay to see that. <laughs> and Link would absolutely decimate him, so. Alright. So, we're gonna go on to, uh. First, we're gonna get the sword, but. Okay. Um. First, we're gonna go get the sword, but, um, another thing about the shield. I'm going to explain that later. Um. <laughs> One thing about the shield, the only way you, you can get the shield is to buy it in this Gokiri shop. As, as you can see here, um, it costs 40 rupees and we only have 5. So, um, here's some easy ways to get rupees. So if you, um, hop through here, these jumping stones, you'll get 5 rupees. And, um, as you walk through the grass, you can get some, like, like... Three to four rupees in the grass, and uh, you can uh, throw these rocks. But me recording all that is gonna take forever. It's already uh, at least ten minutes in. Going over here, walking on this little walkway. I would actually have a lot of trouble doing this because, like. When I would use like the actual joysticks instead of the circle pad, I would always like fall off, but here we are. I can do it. I can just do it like a breeze. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I totally forgot. Totally forgot. 
Here we are. This is actually, um, Maya's house, by the way. This is, like, you know, the guy that was, uh, that's the guy that was talking to us. He was talking smack. So, here we are. We're in his house, and here's something that I think is really funny. Um, I was watching a video about, like, um, Ocarina of Time. And this guy was, like, um, or he opens this chest. And as you can see, um, or, like, as you, if you talk to everybody else in the forest, you can see, it'll tell you that, like, he's, he's really mean to everybody. He's kind of a, he's kind of a jerk. And, um, he's, like, uh, the guy that I saw, it was like, oh, so this is where he keeps his heart. <laughs> I just thought that was the funniest thing in the world. And, open the rest of these. Got a blue rupee. We just steal all his money. He, he deserves it anyway. Alright, that's it. But just, who, who keeps 11 rupees in like three different chests? That's so, that's so weird. But, it's a video game and you can't argue with video game logic. So, get a little extra. Walk through these bushes. Alright, we have just about enough, but we're not going to go buy it yet. Now we're going to go and fetch the sword. Which you just go through this little fenced area here. And go up to this little crevice. Crouch down. And crawl through using the analog stick. Alright. As you can see, another five over here. We have just enough. But, I'm not gonna hit the store just yet. Yeah. Get some little, get a little extra here too. And Link uh, isn't strong enough, like... Another thing that I find really ironic, or well, something that I find really ironic, if you look at Link's arms, he can barely pull this weed here. So, I, I just saw that's pretty funny. And here we have a chest. Visit the Know-It-All Brothers to get answers to all your item-related questions. So, yeah, they're kind of like your little tutorial place. It's located uh, right here, like right here on this on this map. And here we now, or, or here we have now, the uh, Kokiri Sword. On the equipment subscreen, select it with the cursor and equip it with the A. This is a hidden treasure of the Kokiri, but you can borrow it for now. Be sure to practice it before you really fight. Yeah, I really need to get better at reading stuff. Or voiceover. Um, there's on your screen you should at least see a like a little like a little display of Link. But uh, the thing is, um, I don't know this like this emulator is pretty glitchy. And it's not showing up for some reason. Actually, yeah, I would like to save. Thank you very much. All right, so now that we have the sword equipped, pull it out with B, and uh, here's uh, your basic sword. Tip. Um, just press B, swing, and if you uh, press it up uh, three times in a row, you will do a little uh, combo, and you can even uh, now you can even do a. Uh, even swing it in the direction you're uh, pointing with the uh, analog stick. So if you're uh, thinking all going up on the analog stick, you'll um, Link will swing down. And if you do it from like the side, it's a lot easier. If you want to do your uh, like the swinging from like the sides, it's uh, a lot better to do it while uh, targeting down. So um yeah. Hold down B, it will do a spit attack, and then, um, if you, uh, spin the, uh, analog stick in a circle and press B, you'll do a spin attack like that as well. That's a lot quicker than... I am really out of it right now. I mean, I already went through one attempt through, uh, to record this, but, um, I forgot the, uh, I forgot to set the, uh, the recording software to record the game sound. 
So, <laughs> yeah, I screwed that up. But, uh, yeah, just come out there. And, we have a sword. Now we're gonna go head to the shield. Or, head to the shop and get our shield. See you guys there. Alright, we are back in the shop. And now, here we are. Buying our shield. Da 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 da! <laughs> that was terrible, I'm sorry. Press R to crouch and defend. And if you press R while Z targeting, you can move all the thing. Alright. Now, some little stuff about the shield. Um, let's see, go, up, over, go over here to equip it, equip that. There we go. Alright, so, press R to, like, well, crouch and use your shield. You can move the analog stick and, uh, it's like, you know, it's sort of a uh, point, like, to sort of direct the shield, so, um, you can do stuff like block bullets or like defend against enemies. So yeah. Cut a little grass. Let's help this guy. That meaning Mino maybe cut the grass at Saria's house. Mino told me he would do it. Maya told me. Maya told Saria he would do it so she would like him, but I'm the one doing all the work. You and Sari are close friends, so will you help me cut the grass? I'll let you keep anything you find while cutting. So, like, we just caught a, just found a ruby. There. Already. That was a little blade. And, um... Yeah, you can't cut rocks, by the way. I'm pretty sure that's given. Alright, now that we're all equipped... Now we can go and, uh talk to this guy and uh, give him a little piece of my mind. Maybe we can actually have him square up. No, I'm just kidding. If you want to see the great Dagger tree, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Eh, uh, what's that? Oh, you have a Dagger shield. And what's that? Oh, is that the Kikiri sword? Good grief. Well, even with all that stuff, a whip is still a whip, huh? I, the Great Mile, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how'd you get to be the favorite of Saria and the Great Dagger Tree, huh? Grumble, grumble. And now he just walks away counting. Alright. Head through here. And, as you can see, or we are stopped, or at least we are being stopped. These, these, these are the uh, first enemies you'll encounter in the game. If you uh, target them and press up on the C-pad, um, now we will fly over and uh, identify them. So this thing is the called the uh, Deku Baba. Though it looks withered, it'll hurt if you touch it. So as long as you go like no, go up and touch it, you'll be fine. And now I drop the Deku stick. And this thing is uh, the Deku sticks are uh, used to um, stuff like burning stuff, like lighting fires. We'll get into that later. Wow, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Alright. Great day, Katria, I'm back! Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Link, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Great Day, Katria, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber, these past moves have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. A verily, thou hast felt it. Link, time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. And, yep, we're gonna do just that. But enter brave Link, and thou too, brave Navi. Or just, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Link. And Link, Whenever he speaks, press up on the C pad to listen to her words of wisdom. All right, and that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for some more Ocarina of Time. This is Battle Michael. I'm signing off.